fire police. Uh, Alyssa, wherever she is, I mean, it's not a hard truck. It's designed for can't mill purchases for the for the paid staff to get an immediate hit on a fire that starts off. Really kind of Y'all are aware that's what it's for. So the first thing you do is you walk around the truck. You have two. Pretty much everything you need to start an initial tank. You got two SCBAs with mask. You have a chainsaw, chaps, oil, chain. You have road flares. You have a battery operated chainsaw. Um, all right, and then you also have some cones in there. Try to keep the truck real simple. Go on the other side. The front we have a winch. That's going to come in handy the other day at, if this, if we had been at the station, this truck would have rolled. Instead of using ropes, I would have ran that winch down, hooked onto that car, and held that car with that. Yeah, the whole gun safe's like nobody's business, too. Yes, it does. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you guys, you guys weren't at the station when that rollover came? No. No. We come out of Blue Dolphin. Oh, sure. Extra battery for the chainsaw. Light. Gas meter. Four gas meter. It's left in and charged. When it's plugged in, another SCBA, another mask, and accountability cone. So when the truck gets there, the guys got to go in. They can hang their tags on the cone. <laughs> Auto eject. Uh, the truck's plugged in. It should automatically auto eject. You need to when you put the truck back in service. You got to look for and make sure that that gauge is reading that it's charging. Then we come back to the pump. Very simple pump. It's got 150 gallons of water on it. It's an ultra high pressure, 1500 psi. It's got five gallons of foam. Um, the big thing with this is you do not want to hit somebody when this thing's up and running. Um, it'll peel the skin right off of you. So that's not like a typical fire hose. It's not something that you want to be monkey playing around with and think you're going to rinse somebody off because you're going to full skin. Uh, on the back it's got two scene lights. Uh, they're simply operated. Um, when the truck's running you also have panel lights that come on. Backup lights and then the scene lights are operated by a switch on the back of their, each light. Individual. Okay. First thing you do turn the gas on. You notice there's a note right here. When transporting, turn gas on off, prevent engine from flooding. I don't know, but we're going with it. So we're going to operate. The first thing we do is we reach up and we turn that gas on from halfway. Someone taller than me, Jeff, <laughs> Scott, turn it in line. Next thing you do to engage the pump is you're going to take the pump. You're going to make this lever's on engine start. Because this is set and it's been cold, you're going to pull the choke. You're going to turn the key on. You're going to make sure that it's full, that you got water to fight with. Start. Choke off. Throttle up a little. Immediately go over to your pump. Now you're ready to pump water. You want to engage the foam. So if you're coming up in a car fire, the foam needs to be foam on. Set your percentage. Usually we leave this set at 
Scott's gonna demonstrate the use of the nozzle. So you got three settings on the thing. It's almost like an air compressor tip. You pull it back and just rotate the head. That one is fog, foam, So, it is all yours, Alice. Um, <laughs> the gas, we're going to leave that on. Okay, nice. we're playing with it. You're short, like I am. We're not going to be able to reach it. So, the first thing you would do is the gas. And then the next thing, Choke. take the pump. You want to get water going to that pump. You don't ever want to run it dry. Sorry. <laughs> You're going to be the movie star. All right, so which one? <laughs> See where it says tank the pump? This one right here, you yep. just pull it out. Yep. All right, now you you got water going to your pump. So the next thing, you shouldn't have to choke it because we've been running it. Mm -hmm. If it's cold, you're going to have to. So you go ahead and turn it on. Make sure that you have water in your gauge, which you do. It's all green. And then go ahead and start. Okay. So you want to go over here where it's the engine start. You go to high pressure pump. Now your hose shuts back. that off. Yeah. So, depending on what they want to reach for, yeah, your nozzle vent. What do you want for pressure? All the way? So, all the way, that's right, all the way up. You have to you have to disengage it, right? Yeah, but it's better to stay back. Don't stay you have back. To pull it, hold it. Oh, you have to hold it. Okay, it's not like a one one shot deal, right? Danny, put it on foam. Says foam. Isn't that it? Yeah, that's foam.
What's that? 6%, and this is half. Quite a bit different. That's what I want to see it. Half and six. Half percent and six percent. Six percent and half percent.